the comparison they used was so four four pounds. Okay. The motor they pulled off that go kart was a six horsepower motor. Okay. That was over forty pounds. So it's a tenth oh. of the weight. Okay. Or ish the same. That's crazy. Horsepower. <laughs> We got, I don't know, 20 or 30 comments about this one in particular was a liquid piston Yeah, what engine. the heck is that about? So I didn't look into these at all. I know you did some research on these, but so that one, that was almost less clear to me than pistonless. <laughs> right. <laughs> so it's because if you, the pistonless still kind of had a, it wasn't a piston. Right. But it has it was a combustion a, chamber. Similar to a rotary. Right? right. So this is very, very similar. This is a, oh, okay. um, it's called the liquid, liquid piston is the brand. I thought it was a type oh. of engine. It's a liquid piston brand. Oh, that's They way have more. the engine called the X engine. Okay. Find a better name. I don't know what this means because it's triangle. It's not a X. You know what I mean? Anyways. They're like, no, see, it's the bottom of an X. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Marketing could use some help. Totally cool. You guys make it an awesome engine. And this one has working prototype. That was a lot of the feedback we got oh. too. Like, let's hear it. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. And we're like. I agree. Let's yes. hear it. Um, ha- have we heard back at all from Omega? No. Okay. No, nothing I yet. Think we're trying to out, right? Yeah, we're going to see if okay, we can so try we're to reach out for you guys. We w- would love to have a video of that thing running. Yeah. 25,000 RPM. I, it's got to sound insane. It's got to. So I don't know the. Just to see where that project's at to see if there is right. any. Because I know, like, that was a lot of the feedback was there was there are videos with uh, the engineers at that team and with other engineers critiquing the design that it definitely sounds very theoretical at this point. Mm hmm. Um, but it's interesting, and it like at right. least whatever they hired, they paid enough somebody enough on an animation that I'm really curious what it sounds like. Right. What it can well, do. the cool I think what gets us what gets you guys excited about this, what gets us excited about this is there really hasn't been huge leaps forward in engine tech right. for what fifty years right. would be safe to say right because there's been I, I don't know when turbo superchargers and stuff like that came around but it's basically been like I think that what was did like it start 80s, with like right? a straight six was probably one of the first straight eight yep. or straight six or whatever yep. then then we got the V's we got the yep. the compressed V's with VR right. sixes and stuff like that right. and then just stuff like rotary yeah, right? rotary things. rotaries came in and so, and motors themselves are not that old like we're talking about a technology that's not more than you know like a little over a century old so right. like this is it's a very rapid development initially for that first few years right and then kind of stagnated into like we're still like one of the engines i want to talk to you about is this new v8 from chevy and it's i mean it's a v8 it's something that they've been doing since the 60s right. like which yeah. is crazy you know they're, they're obviously optimizing it's a completely different platform than it right. was back then but it is really interesting and like it seems like it's almost plateaued and then some of these other some of these other engine technologies seem really exciting has like yeah. something that that completely breaks what we think is normal with a lot of it this breaks stuff. the no re- no replacement for displacement <laughs> yeah. a little bit right yeah. like it gets those guys being like hmm like yeah. the whole joke is right like i'm sure you guys post it i've seen i, I think people that we follow yeah. posted like your, your turbo civics so like yep. these crazy tuned up cars that like yep. they're like all oh, making scat packs cry and like yep. they're seriously yep. though like yep. these little yep. like tuned up crazy cars so the yes. no replacement for displacement like yes sometimes right but like there, there's all kinds of crazy stuff you could do right. now which right. is just awesome so anyways so this tell thing, me how this thing works this thing is essentially rotary right okay. so it's got this oval shaped rotary of a picture right here um it's got three combustion chambers okay three spark plugs and um essentially just works that's like how rotary, rotary is, isn't it? So what I thought was cool about it is um, the flow okay. of the engine. It's basically front to back. So it intakes oh, so it straight is a lot through like the, the front. Omega. It's, a, it's a rotor that has an intake and an exhaust side. Okay. Right? And then the, where they pour in, where the combustion chamber, basically piston, I guess, meets the combustion chamber, it, it's got the ports for both. Okay. So whenever it makes its cycle, I'm using probably all the wrong words for this. That's no, totally I get, cool. I'm in, yeah. in layman's terms to yeah. explain how this works, how I understand it. When it, um, you know, reaches its combustion cycle, okay. it goes from the front okay. of the engine to the back okay. from the intake to the exhaust. Okay. So it compresses, you gotcha. know, ignites, expands and shoots it out the back. So um, Interesting. Was, they have some really cool videos, okay. uh, liquidpiston.com. You can look at the full, they yeah, show the we'll power the curves, clip. all that. T- we'll yeah. run a clip in the Put side of, of it so running. It's it. really, really cool. So it looks just like a. It looks like a rotary with a big weight reduction. Yeah. Thing so what? In a, so and, an, and an oval instead of a triangle in the middle. They were very clear that it's not a Wankel engine, which is the first time I heard that. Yeah. That's what the rotaries are called. Yep. Wankel yep. engines. So totally, totally new technology. Totally different way of doing it. Um, the working prototype that I do have, I have a video for it. Um, they're working on small models right now. Sure. So makes sense. It's not going to be, oh, it's 25,000 RPM. It's, it's you know, stackable up to right. 300, 400, 500 right. horsepower, stuff like that. The one that I have a video of, it's it's four pounds. 
four pounds. So things like this big. So what? Oh, that's cool. Tiny little thing. Okay. You know, they can use it for, they have really cool like mission and things that they're trying to do. Gotcha. It's not just cars, but it's also not just planes. Cause I know okay. some of the things like yeah. the Omega one was mostly like a thing for focus. aircraft. I don't yeah. think it was a ton for like, they weren't making right. it for um, autos and stuff right. like that. Is this like auto driven? Like they're shooting this is for, for cars? everything. Oh, so okay. they have, okay. um, they want, you know, to use it in drones, to use okay. it in small planes, um, vehicles, but in vehicles, the asterisk to that is um, they want to use it as, Basically, and you talked about this before too, basically like a hybrid system. Oh, okay. Because this is 30% more efficient than regular piston engines. Okay. So they could use it as um, basically like, what would you call it? A battery recharger or something like that? Oh, like a generator. Right. Because they said, right? so essentially their, their theory is um, regular internal combustion engines are too inefficient. Okay. Electric cars are also too inefficient because- okay. They're using these mega battery packs. Right. Where is the battery stuff coming from? Right. Where is the, you know, you plug your car and you feel great about yourself. Right. But 50 miles down the road, there's a coal plant. <laughs> right. Right. Throwing stuff into right. the air right. that you're actually using to charge right. your electric car. Right. So it like makes you feel good. Right. So the thing is with this is it's so much more efficient that gotcha. it could be, you know, housed in a Tesla or sure. a Prius or whatever. These sure. hybrid cars. Hopefully a cool hybrid car um, and require way less battery okay. in the car. So you save tons and tons of weight. Interesting. You think about a, say a four pound core, for example, this right. one, four pounds. If you got a little bit of a tank, yeah. you know, you can keep those batteries charged up yep. essentially. Yep. But you don't need, you're not relying on the batteries for the whole range because you're, exactly. you're just regenerating. So that's just really for whatever you punch it, you need the juice immediately kind right. of thing. It's just kind of a, a buffer almost. In there. Right. But different than some hybrids where say like the I8 okay. as a, um, internal combustion engine and electric ones and there's other hybrids yeah. that use the same where yep. like the the gas motor is literally powering the wheels right where they're saying this would be more like a generator okay inside the car so okay, it's not yeah. going this isn't hooked up to a drive shaft hooked up you know to a, a transmission that goes to the wheels okay this thing's literally like say under the back seat or in the gotcha. trunk just yeah it's literally it a generator so it's just exactly. literally running at a rpm yeah and just producing electricity to feed right in through. right which I thought was really, really cool That's because it's cool. so much more efficient. So you'd use so much less gas to so get the benefits, electric benefits yeah. of gas. Basically, I'd say the, the quick Interesting. recharge yeah. per se yeah. of get, you fill your thing up with gas takes three to five minutes. You cry That's a little really bit at the pump, but you cry a little bit less because yeah. it's so much more efficient. <laughs> right. so I thought that was really, really cool. Um, that is super interesting. I have, let's listen to it real okay. quick. Yeah, let's do it. Um, the engine, it kind of looks like the reverse of a typical rotary. Like usually a rotary has a um, like an oval um combustion chamber and right. it's got the triangle piston that rotates around yeah it. it's interesting because this is a triangle and it's got right. an oval piston that rotates around so they're yep. like yeah no trust us it's not a rotary it's like it's a little though <laughs> i think it's way different right trust me yeah <laughs> i'm sure the functionality of it is but just at a glance i'm like well is it though so here it is they got this so this is that four pound one i'm talking about they got it in a go oh it's the go-kart video it's the this go-kart. is that engine this is that engine yep. oh okay so this is not I thought you were going to say they have like uh, this, like sitting on a bench and their stuff sitting through it. And they're like, see, look, it turns over on its own. Right. They're actually like they actually using got it, it running. Something. So this is a whole, this is on their website too. They have a whole okay. interview, I think with the engineer, okay. the guy who okay. made okay. it. Um, and then this interviewer guy, and then they got it in a go-kart for okay. a working example to drive it. So they don't do, so I was trying to find everywhere yeah. as car guys do anytime, <laughs> anytime you're looking up a car, right? Like, oh, I might want to buy this car. Yeah. What's your first YouTube? Exhaust sound. Oh yeah. <laughs> right. So, yeah. How does it sound? Yeah. And then straight pipe. <laughs> does it sound straight pipe? So he's trying to find like some like sitting revving it. Yeah. Like hearing it idle. Yeah. yeah. Like maxing it out. Yeah. All type of stuff like yeah. that. They don't. I, f- I feel like with this stuff, I don't. My brain doesn't like with the twenty five thousand RPM engine. My yeah. brain, I don't know. I don't even know where to start with how that would sound. Other right. than kind of like a turbine engine, maybe. Yeah. But like. This, like this is kind of one of those two. Other than I, I just kind of picture a rotary, I guess. But yeah, I'm curious. So it kind of sounds like that. So here, I got the volume up. Oh, weird. Alex, seeing is believing. See yeah, yeah, yeah. How small that um, didn't see it. It's behind you. <laughs> so look you. how t- it basically looks like a turbo, right? It does. That's the whole thing. It does look like a turbo. That's the motor? Yep. That's the whole thing. That's that thing. Yep. It's tiny. Okay, so, so for those not watching, it's maybe the size of a time. cantaloupe. <laughs> It totally sounds like a little rotary. Right, doesn't it? Interesting. So they've got cool. other models they're working on, obviously bigger ones yeah. that produce more horsepower. That yeah. one's four pound core. Um, it currently produces about three horsepower. 
so pretty tiny. Interesting. They think that model they can get it up to about five horsepower. Okay. For that tiny little thing. Okay. The comparison they used was so four four pounds. Okay. The motor they pulled off that go kart was a six horsepower motor. Okay. That was over forty pounds. So it's a tenth oh. of the weight. Okay. Per ish the same. That's crazy. Horsepower. That's Ain't nuts. Crazy. So, so it's that much of the more, weight. Thirty. Uh, what did you say? It's thirty percent. What was the efficiency number? I think they said thirty percent more efficient. Okay. That's crazy. Yeah, increase, increase efficiency by 30% thanks to the company's patented wow. thermodynamic the weight, cycle. Wow, 30% more efficient. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. That's really cool. That's interesting. Yep. So that'll cool be a cool like one to keep an eye too, on. Like gives me a little bit of hope too for internal combustion engines. Mm-hmm. Engines. We've talked, you've talked a lot about <laughs> electric cars and there's some really, really exciting stuff with that too. Yeah, there's some more coming. There's definitely more. <laughs> and there's some really cool, exciting stuff with yeah. that too. Um, and obviously I believe like there's, we got to do Something yeah. with that, right? Like the technology is there. It's going to get better, right? Uh, we can't expect to like the thing that they discovered, whatever. Like it's going to change. We're going to find right. different ways to do things. So yep. it's interesting to see. It's just exciting to. I think all of us just get discouraged when the branding of everything electric is like it's eco. You don't need to go fast. Right. It's all really <laughs> yeah. nice. It's, it's super like, comfy. And you're, you're like, like eco mode. And it's like a little tree. Yeah. It's like no, dude. I want to burn rubber. Right. <laughs> That's what like, I'm I want to do. do. That just do that with the sustainable yeah. thing. I want to like feel it, hear yeah. it, like yeah. all that stuff. Yeah. Smell it. That's interesting though, dude. That's a really cool engine. We'll have to keep an eye on that. So yeah, for everyone who wants to look up more about this, it's liquidpiston.com. Yep. So um, liquid piston more information X engine. Okay. So take a peek at it. They got tons and tons of videos, cool. actual working models, that type of stuff. Cool.